Hi guys, all right, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a zip locator or a store locator uh, based on zip code ranges. Now you may have been to some websites and you've seen those nice uh, locators they have where you get to put in a zip code and it tells you who's closer and who's farther and different locations. Uh, and this is essentially what I'm going to be teaching you here uh, how to build. Now there's two uses for this. One is for customers to locate your locations or two, it could be for you internally. Suppose you're in office like a, a dispatcher and you need to find the closest locations of certain things to some people. Um, so yeah, so those are the two uses for the zip locator. It's either internal within the office or it's external and as in you publish it online and you uh, have your customers use it. Um, the service that I'm going to be using for this is actually powered by a really, 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 really good uh, website called zipcodes.com. Um, I'm just going to do a standard search for uh, uh, zip codes, and it's zip-codes.com. And it's a really, really, really nice uh, website. Um, they offer the tool for free, and you, all you got to do is just program it. Uh, and that's what I'm going to be showing you guys. So it's zip-codes.com. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be clicking on account login. And you're going to be clicking on create a new account. Uh, and we're going to make a uh, YouTube demo account. And let me give it a password. Uh, let's give, make the password something easy. Um, and let me bubble in some gmx.com. Bubble in some uh, information. And uh, let me just finish bubbling the rest of it in. So you're going to be uh, creating a brand new account. Uh, and the reason for this is because you need to administer your store. Um, okay. And let's sign up. And there's no email verification, so that's the cool part. You can kind of just create this without. You see, it just created a, a new account for me. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going to Store Locator. So when I go back to the main website, on the left-hand side, well, let me just make sure I'm logged in. Am I logged in? Yep, I am. On the left-hand side on the main uh, on the main website, you see the menu over here? Uh, one of the options you're going to have here is Free Store Locator. And this is what we're going to be clicking on, Free Store Locator. Um, now, once we're in there, we're going to want to create one. Um, so for that, we need to sign up with the free version. And let's log in with our existing account, uh, which is YouTube Demo, and our password. And it's going to ask you, what website are you going to be hosting this on? Well, remember, if you're going to be using a zip code location uh, system, it must be online on a website, whether you use it internally or externally, right? So I'm going to be using this with my website, uh, dangerstudio.com. And I'm going to register it. And in about a moment, I'm going to have my own locator, which is very, very cool. There you go. Congratulations, you're now registered for our free store locator. With, and you get a free appy with this. Uh, and, and the cool part is, is that you have access to all these zip codes and, and everything. So let's begin. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to click on stores. Uh, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a store or import stores. Um, I'm going to do this the, the more uh, expert way. I'm just going to click on import stores. And I'm going to click on Download Sample Template, which is right here. And let me open up the sample, temp the sample template file. And you're going to see here, they're giving me a bunch of, uh, uh, of, of samples of what I would have to do. I would have to put in here, uh, longitude and latitude is not important. Um, but you do need these fields in here if you're going to do the import. Uh, this will be the name of the store, the address of the store, the city, the state, the zip code, the phone number, fax number, um, the, and then you have obviously the toll-free number. They're giving you a range of options here. I mean, it's really, really advanced. Now, let me delete the preferred. And I'm just going to use the same exact um, template file. I'm just going to upload it back and show you guys what exactly it looks like. So let me go on and save this uh, over here to my desktop. And OK, CSV file, save, save, yes, yes. Okay, now I'm going to go to choose a file. I'm going to select my store locator um, template, 
that I would either put in my own locations or locations from the web or locations which I scraped off another database or yellow pages or white pages or anything of that nature. And I'm going to click on upload my data file. And right away it's going to be giving me a, a quick look of what the file looks like. So this is what the demo file actually is. Uh, it has a bunch of locations in uh, what looks to be like New Jersey. Um, you know, and we have here all uh, all our fields. We have custom fields which we can use. Also, it's very very cool. Um, all right, so let's con confirm this import and let's dump all these files in. And you see what's happening right now is it's immediately processing all the records, um, and that's it. Now, sometimes you have to geocode the stores. Apparently, now you don't need to geocode the stores. Doesn't look like you do. Let me just make sure. It looks like they already are geocoded. Geocoding is the process in which um, this website just kind of like grabs all the um, all the longitude and latitudes from Google Maps to create distances between the zip codes. Uh, but in this case, we are not going to need it. Apparently, like the file, um, maybe because it's their own file. Uh, okay, so that's it. So we have some stores now. So now what we can do is we can go to implementation code. And over here, it gives you a little sample bit of code right here. I'm going to copy that sample code. I'm going to open up a plain notepad. I'm just going to write out a very, 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 very simple uh, HTML file. And I'm going to call this sample.html. Now, you can be using an HTML editor for this. I mean, you, you need to have something to create a website with. I just kind of did it here in Notepad. Uh, I'm going to go to my web server. And I'm going to connect to my web server. Um, and I, I do believe I have a demo folder here somewhere. Yep, I have a demo folder. And let me go into my desktop, upload the sample onto it. And now let's browse to it. Let's go to Dangerous Studio dot com forward slash demo forward slash sample dot html and here is our zip code uh, uh, locator right here right away it asks me for a zip code so i'm going to go and i'm going to put in one of the zip codes they already have given me here um let me see here this one in emerson it's uh, 07630 so it's 07630 i'm going to click on find locations and right away it's giving me everything uh emerson uh, is the closest one at 0.6 miles away and then it get geocoded everything pretty much so you're able to see that all these locations and it even gives you a map of where these places are um, actually gives you the distance between each one now this is completely customizable they're actually uh, nice enough to provide you with the ability to um, generate your own code uh, to be able to customize this you're able to select the store color the result color um, you're even able to give a style sheet to the frame to make it even look good to fit with your design if you were to publish this online. Um, you can actually change how many stores appear in the size limit. You can change the width, the height. Um, you can choose whether you want to show the map or not. Uh, you can show specifically this widget. So this is how you go about creating a store locator. It's really, really simple. It's really easy using this service. Um, you can always deactivate stores and add more stores as you wish. Um, I, I've used this with uh, over 5,000 locations already, um, creating databases for people. Um, so yeah, so uh, perfectly good uses for this is suppose you're uh, in an office, suppose I'm a car service uh, place, you know, someone calls my central uh, and I ask, I ask the customer, okay, what is your zip code? And I click find locations on my side. Uh, and I'm able to see who's the closest one to him, uh, and I'm able to just call. You can actually integrate click to call and just call this, press click on a number, and you know dial it out right. Um, or you can have this on your website. Suppose you have a store. Uh, suppose you have five stores in in Brooklyn, New York, or in Manhattan, uh, and someone puts it in uh, their zip code one one zero zero one, for example, uh, and click find locations. You'll see here that. This zip code right here, um, 07093, is 16.2 miles away from 11001. So you see how this whole thing works. Uh, and if I click on, on uh, Gutenberg, actually, I'm able to zoom in, um, and I'm able to see exactly where it is. I can actually go deep into the map. So the geocoding is provided by uh, Google and by Yahoo. Um, and the actual map is provided by MapQuest. Uh, and you have both satellite imagery and you have map imagery.
Uh, and it's a very, very cool tool. Uh, you see this video is, is less than a couple of minutes. I already created my store. I can already color this and implement this either on my website or I can create a custom app within my office or business or for a client uh, who has the need for something like this. So just a quick overview. Remember, you want to go to zip-codes.com, register for a brand new uh, free store locator account. Uh, they are free. Um, remember, you have your settings over here for the store locator. Um, you know, you can set up your categories, you can set up your stores right here. They give you a bunch of cool uh, tools here to play with. Um, you can run reports about traffic. Um, you see this requires a premium account. Premium account will cost you a couple of dollars, but will give you a lot more functionality. Um, you can see the difference between premium and free. I've always used free because I just learned my way around playing with the code to building it uh, to be what I want it to be. They're giving you examples uh, what you could use this for. Finding closer stores, locating dealerships, providing distributor and supplies lookups, directory capabilities of personnel, um, and of course increase website traffic by providing uh, lookups, uh, which is organizing uh, and showing places. So you see here it tells me right away 30 stores added. So I can go on forever talking about this and how this works, um, but I just wanted to demonstrate to you how to make it, how easy it is to get it, um, and how to implement it. Um, and you saw what I did. I pulled up Notepad and I just put in this code and I could just go here and, and customize and generate my own code right here and modify all these little parameters and, and create it, you know, build it outright even more. Um, and that's it. Uh, you know, one last note is they give you a whole glossary of parameters here that you could change uh, different values. I and mean, you have a lot of control over this. And remember, this is absolutely free. The only thing is they're showing you here that it's powered by zipcodes.com. There is uh, a small text ad, uh, which doesn't really matter. I mean, it doesn't really uh, bother anyone. Um, if I was to refresh this, you see it comes up absolutely clean. Uh, I can I can also click on this and, and select, uh, you know, show me everything in, in Jersey. So everything is in Jersey, so I could just select the state. So this is really cool because you can also search by states and by cities and specifically. Uh, you could say, all right, show me only New Jersey, find locations. Uh, oh, it's Emerson, I believe. Emerson, New Jersey, find locations. And it shows me everything in Emerson, New Jersey. Another cool thing is is that you can actually trace out uh, my other video about debugging forms. You can actually debug this form. Um, you see, and, and uh, when you reverse engineer this form, uh, as shown in my other videos, you can actually get a direct link uh, and create specific buttons that push a variable zip code and search automatically without anyone even having to type in a zip code. But that's a whole other story. <laughs> um, all right, so that's the end of this video. I hope you guys like it. Enjoy. Uh, it has been some time. A lot of things happened lately. Um, you know, and I, I try to uh, pump out as much videos as I can. Thank you so much, everyone who has subscribed. Uh, my views are, are climbing higher and higher. I see here I have 1.4 million. Thank you very, very much to everybody. I, I definitely appreciate helping you guys learn and, and teaching you. And I try to answer all my emails and messages, and I truly appreciate it. So stay cool, people, and um, see you next time. Bye.